And we're learning more tonight about a nearly 19 hour standoff that ended fatally Tuesday morning. 49 year old Andrew Shipley died after he barricaded himself inside his girlfriend's West Medford home. Medford Police Chief Tim George held an afternoon news conference and while he would not get into too many specifics because the case is still under investigation, he did say that Shipley had a total of four guns on him during that standoff. Chief George says Shipley fired a 7.5 millimeter rifle at police from underneath the garage door. Tuesday morning. When asked about the hail of bullets officers fired at the suspect, George said he couldn't say exactly how many shots were fired, but he did say there was a total of seven seconds of gunfire between MPD officers and Shipley, and his officers did their best to handle the situation the way they're trained to do. It doesn't matter how many officers there were, it doesn't matter how many rounds were fired. What matters is, is if deadly force was being used or attempted to be used against you, and whether or not you were authorized in using that against them. That's what counts, and that each officer has to make that decision at the time and place when that is occurring. Chief George says one small dog was found dead inside the living room, believed to be shot by Shipley, who is described by police as mentally unstable. Chief George confirmed that Shipley did have some sort of hearing problem, but said that did not affect their communication during the standoff. Now, OSP is investigating the case and will then turn over their findings to the district attorney's office. The seven officers who are believed to have fired shots Tuesday are on administrative leave until a grand jury hears the case. That is standard protocol in officer-involved shootings.